Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 4 of the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup jersey review. We are talking today about the last two groups G and H and believe it or not this is the first video where I have all the teams in these groups that are also in my collection. Probably a little bit of a roundabout way of saying what I wanted to say there but I think you get the point. Um, as I said before the pictures that you will see here I went through the internet started at football kit archive to collect some pictures not all of them are picture perfect like I would like them you know just a jersey nice way made up on a white background not gonna happen this time so sometimes there are some models in there sometimes you don't even see the jerseys all that well but you know we're still gonna try to rate them on a scale from one being the worst to ten being the best and I can tell you right now that I'm actually leaving the best for last in this video so stay tuned for the entirety. We're going group by group in some yeah more or less random order so there's no rhyme or reason there is a little bit of uh, you can of course use the um, chapters uh, below to navigate here. But I would say we'll get started and we'll get started with Sweden where I didn't get any reliable information what the home jersey is. Uh, Football Kit Archive still says the one from the Euros, which I've reviewed, so I'm not going to say much about that one. I honestly think it will be the one that has been released for the men that would have been worn the World Cup, would have qualified, because this is what Adidas have been doing, using the current men's jersey for the women's home jersey. So I'm going to look at this one. Uh, and to be frank with you, as far as Sweden jerseys go, I've seen much better. I think I think Sweden jerseys are best if it's just yellow with one other blue color. I think that the dark blue is a teeny bit too dark and the light blue is a little bit too light. It The one thing that it does, it connects the crest a little bit more to the jersey with the light blue accents, which are actually the colors of the Swedish flag. Uh, but I personally think a royal blue is always the best on a Sweden jersey uh, than any of the other ones. Other than that, a uh, rather box standard uh, Adidas template, I was not excited to see this jersey at all. It's the last Sweden jersey that Ibra was even wearing. Yeah, we're talking it's still Ibra and it's the Women's World Cup. Four stars. Uh, sorry to say. Um, again, the away jersey a whole lot more exciting, although in typical Swedish fashion it's very understated. Uh, yes, this should be rocks under the water. I have to say, given that we've seen others, and yet not all of them are perfect, this one is a little bit timid. Also, I think uh, brighter yellow could have worked with that one. I usually like and I don't have one in my collection for whatever reason. I do usually like blue um, Sweden jersey with yellow accents. So you're not gonna get me uh, get a bad grade here. Just could be better, or it could use something a little bit more Swedish. Not a lights anyone. Just saying. Just just saying. It's a seven star jersey, and we're going over to South Africa. Le Coq Sportif, another brand that we have added and I already said we have loads of Nike jerseys, we have also a good chunk of Adidas jerseys and then we have a smidgen, the last quarter of them, all different Le Coq Sportif is one of those. The South Africa home jersey, I mean honestly the way this picture is made I cannot really tell you much but it seems like a standard South Africa jersey, uh, yellow with green, again there's a little pattern in there. Nothing super exciting, but nothing bad as well. I would go with a five here. We have the away jersey. Do like it a little bit more. Still rather simple, but you know there are some wildlife striping in there, and I guess the model sells it also a teeny bit better overall. I like the yellow on, on the sides. Actually, uh, this one I like a bit better. Not exciting by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a six. I will be safe. Best for last for South Africa as well. The third jersey is on my want list. When I started with, uh, you know, really getting into it, South Africa were wearing these jerseys. These are straight after the ones, the couple jerseys worn at the World Cup in um, in France, but also have a little bit of those crazy looking jerseys that they won the AFCON in in '96. I think of all the jerseys that we have in this video, uh, in all of these reviews, this is probably the highest on my list. It's awesome. I like that they bring this back. I need to have this one. I literally need to have this one. 
love it absolutely love it uh i have been longing for south, south africa to go back to the if you want original look uh it's just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous getting all the colors in a little bit of a while while the pattern it's africa as africa can be best potentially best jersey at the world cup i think there's one that's just a smidgen better but that's the top of my i want list let's put it that way so uh take take it for a vote for me this is an absolute winner let's go over to italy i have not really talked on my channel about the uh italy going to adidas and about the new italy jersey so this is my chance now uh, I do not necessarily mourn uh, the switch from Puma to Adidas, although a teeny bit I do, because for me, Adidas is, re, re, Adidas make great jerseys. However, Adidas with the Italian national team is something that was always kind of a little bit of a, um, a worst case scenario for me, because Adidas re, re, uh, re, represents sportish German style. It's not classy Italian. Now, having said that, I mean, this jersey tries the best to do, but I still cannot get over that there are three stripes now on an Adidas jersey. I like the marble effect in blue, although I don't know, really, is there blue marble out there? I do like that. I also like the slight golden accents. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the 96 Nike jersey, so in that sense, I'm fine. There's also a little bit more detail on the three stripes. There is a little bit, one is in uh, green, white and red. So there's a little bit Italian flag detailing in there, but I think it's all a teeny bit too much. I think um, I would have liked the three stripes, maybe being gold, maybe get rid of this uh, one around the collar. The one thing that I really don't get, I really don't get, why did we need to change the Federation crest? I hate this one. And I made a video about that uh, round it doesn't look right and we were at a really good one there was no need to change this one this is just a dumbing down of, of, of the previous one but you know uh <laughs> as it is always be an italy jersey will be an italy jersey it will look all right overall and for that reason i guess it's not a bad one overall still Ah, it's only a seven. It's only seven. I was about to say eight. It's only all, 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 all seven. Uh, in principle, the away jersey is better. However, the collar construction is not is a little bit weird. Um, but it li looks a little bit more unified. I like that the marble pattern is all out. I can't get why we have an Italy jersey with a marble pattern. Just walk around Italy. There's a lot of marble going around. So in that sense, it's nice. I wish it was a little bit more subdued. Not so in your face, but other than that, it's fine. I think the Adidas logo looks a little bit out of place as does the Italy Federation crest and the collar is just plain weird. It's this full collar that the Argentina home jersey, the winning one, had as well. I'm again seven. They did something, but yeah, I expect more from an Italy jersey. Uh, Argentina, the home jersey is the same that they won the World Cup in the men. I want to say so. Uh, not much to say. It's your box standard Argentina jersey. I gave it a six star and even winning the World Cup didn't make this a much better jersey. It's no, nothing bad, but it's also not a great one. But we have to talk about the away jersey because that is again the super Adidas template. Although I have to say the Argentina one is probably the worst one of them all. A, the different accents on the sleeves don't make much sense to me. And also I think if you get rid of the orange in a way, I could see that there is some Argentina-ness in there. And that's the one where I have to say the promo pick uh, doesn't really improve it overall uh, because you know, there's a mountain range in the evening, but that's a night picture on the jersey. Huh? So that, that is to me a little bit odd. Uh, it's not a bad one, but I think of the, all that I've seen, to me, this is the worst one. That, that's the one that makes the least sense. And Argentina should not have any reddish color on their jerseys, in my opinion. So for that reason, I'm gonna go, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's a trap, but no, it's, for me, it's only a five. Uh, gotta be honest with that. And we're gonna go to the last group, Group H, and here we start with the Africans. Uh, rep representation from Morocco, uh, who got, like Switzerland, a nice home jersey. Standard Morocco. I would say, again, I miss green Morocco. We have a lot of red Morocco at the moment. I understand it with the flag. I like the golden accents. I would like that the color would wrap around a little bit more. The pattern, yeah, it's nice there. 
nothing special. I would say this is five stars and I don't really have any information on the away jersey. I would again think they take the one that has been used at the World Cup, uh, which actually was not that bad in my liking because it had this circle around with the writing. I gave this in the World Cup jersey review an eight star and I actually wanna stick with that one, although it's a little bit out there. Let's go over to Colombia. Uh, Colombia again used the men's home jersey, a one that I found rather boring. Overall, I think there have been better Colombia jerseys out there. I think a yellow color on a Colombia jersey, uh, it looks unfinished to me. Make this color with the, you know, make a flag color out there, uh, but I think it would be even better to have just the navy and the red on there, and I think this jersey would look really, really nice. So it's a little bit too yellow. I also find the yellow tone is a little bit too bright. Brazil can get, get away with it. I don't think Colombia can. Again, rather average i wanna give i actually think since it's unfinished i wanna give this five stars and we get a spectacular away jersey honestly sweden it looks like the northern lights almost if sweden would have done something like that it would, would be great now here uh if you look at the promo picture this of course should be some rock formation that is a little bit weirdly colored i don't know if this is from um yeah i think it's a grotto or something like that in any case uh, it looks a hell lot of exciting you know with the swirls in there it also has a lot of organic stuff in there again the colors uh with the um dark darkish blue almost grayish then with the pink swirls in there this is i find this really at att attractive then add a little bit of the yellow to connect it back to colombia it's really 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 good um I actually want to go eight. I actually think that the eight for the Morocco away <laughs> jersey was a whole lot high. I want to go with the seven for that, that I was just going back uh, for that. But that's for me. This one here is an eight. Really liking that one. South Korea template as template can be. Again, throwing pink in there because it, it's a horrific. The home jersey, just plain boring 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 is a three and the away jersey does not improve it yes we have at least double colored sides well i give it four but it's <sighs> nike 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 you have so many teams and you just don't do anything with them we'll finish with adidas and germany as a best for last but it's not this jersey I, as i told you for the world cup i see there's a historic precedent for it I just don't find this very German overall. Yes, they try something different, but yeah, it's just a six. Trying something if it's nice, it looks better with white pants. Uh, we gotta talk best for last. This away jersey for Germany here, Adidas really outdid themselves with the forest green and you know, representing the forest of Germany. If you drive through Germany or for that matter, Austria, there are a lot of green forests in there. I absolutely love this shirt. They went on their own to something, something there. This is, to me, probably the best one. And it's also the green, a little bit black, and the gold. It's just a car combination that makes it stand out. And I'm not kidding. For me, this is the best shirt. Even the man would look good in that one. Even the man would look good in this jersey. And they are not looking good on the, on the field at the moment at all. But this one is just outstanding. I love the color combination. I love the inspiration. You see the forest in there. It is very German and it's a green jersey and I love my Germany away in green. So yeah, we have wrapped it all up. It's probably not all super precise and whatever, I even had to change it great retroactively. This video ran also a little bit longer, but there was a whole lot more to talk about. There's an Italy jersey in there. There's two of the greatest jerseys of the entire tournament are in there. So yeah, let me know if you agree with me that these jerseys are great. Which jerseys did you like in here? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.